Hey everyone! Welcome to part one of the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 exam practice question series on operating systems. In this video, we will be going through a set of practice questions covering Windows, Linux, and Mac OS tools, installation, upgrading, networking, and more. Be sure to stick around for the full set of questions and subscribe to the channel for more A Plus Core 2 videos covering all the exam domains. The first question is about a user who is unable to print from their laptop when connected to the company's wireless network. Which control panel utility should the technician use to troubleshoot this issue? A. Devices and Printers B. System C. Windows Firewall D. Network and Sharing Center The correct choice is A devices and printers. This utility allows the user to manage and troubleshoot printers and other devices. B system. This utility provides information about the computer system and its hardware. It's not specifically used for troubleshooting printer issues. C windows firewall. This utility is used to manage firewall settings which protect the system from unauthorized access. It's not directly related to printer issues. D network and sharing center. This utility is used to manage and troubleshoot network connections. While it could potentially be related to a printer issue if the printer is networked, it's not the first place to check for a printing issue. To troubleshoot printing problems using the devices and printers utility, follow these steps. 1. Open the devices and printers utility. 2. Right click on the printer that you're having problems with and select troubleshoot. 3. Follow the instructions in the troubleshooting wizard. Question 2. A technician needs to boot a Windows 10 computer into safe mode. Which key should be held down during boot to access the safe mode menu? AF5, BF8, CF10, DF12. The correct choice is BF8. Pressing F8 during the boot process in Windows 10 will bring up the Advanced Boot Options menu where you can select Safe Mode. A, F5. This key is typically used to refresh the current window in many applications, but it doesn't have a specific function during boot in Windows. C, F10. In some systems, this key can be used to access the BIOS setup utility during boot, but it's not used to access Safe Mode in Windows. DF12. This key is often used to access the boot menu on many systems, allowing you to select a different boot device, but it's not used to access safe mode in Windows. Question 3. A user is unable to connect a laptop to the guest wireless network. Which Windows utility should the technician use to view the wireless network name and password? A. Network and Sharing Center. B. IPconfig. C. Network Connections D. Internet Options The correct choice is A. Network and Sharing Center B. IPconfig This command line tool displays the current network configuration, but it doesn't show wireless network names or passwords. C network connections. This utility shows a list of all network connections, but it doesn't display network names or passwords. D. Internet options. This utility is used to adjust internet settings, not to view network names or passwords. To view the wireless network name and password using the network and sharing center, follow these steps. 1. Open the network and sharing center. 2. Click on the name of the guest wireless network that you want to view the password for. 3. Click on the wireless properties link. 4. Click on the security tab. 5. Check the show characters box to view the wireless network password. Question 4. A client needs an operating system recommendation for a PC with 512 GB of RAM installed. Which two Windows versions would support utilizing that much RAM? Select 2. A. Windows 10 Home B. Windows 10 Pro C. Windows 7 Pro D. Windows 10 Enterprise The 
two Windows versions that would support utilizing 512 GB of RAM are B, Windows 10 Pro, and D, Windows 10 Enterprise. A, Windows 10 Home, this version of Windows only supports up to 128 GB of RAM, which is less than the 512 GB installed on the PC. C, Windows 7 Pro, this version of Windows only supports up to 192 GB of RAM, which is less than the 512 GB installed on the PC. Both Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise support up to 2 terabytes of RAM, which is more than enough for the 512 GB installed on the PC. Question 5. A user's Windows laptop fails to boot properly. Which troubleshooting mode allows the technician to access advanced startup options? A. Safe mode, B. Recovery mode, C. Emergency mode, D. Diagnostic mode. The correct choice is B, recovery mode. This mode allows the technician to access advanced startup options to troubleshoot and repair the laptop. A, safe mode. This mode starts Windows with a minimal set of drivers and services. While it can be useful for troubleshooting, it does not provide access to advanced startup options. C, emergency mode. This is not a standard mode in Windows for accessing advanced startup options. D, diagnostic mode. While this term can refer to a general approach to troubleshooting, it is not a specific mode in Windows for accessing advanced startup options. Question 6. A user is unable to connect a Windows laptop to a WPA2 PSK wireless network. Which command can help determine if there is an issue with the wireless network card? A. ipconfig slash all. B. ping. C. tracer. D. net WLAN show interfaces. The correct choice is D. Netch will on show interfaces. This command displays information about the wireless network interfaces on the computer, which can help determine if there is an issue with the wireless network card. Ipconfig slash all displays all current TCP IP network configuration values. Ping is used to test the reachability of a host on an IP network, and tracert is used to determine the route taken by packets across an IP network. Question 7. A user's laptop running Windows 10 keeps crashing during boot up. Which advanced startup mode could help troubleshoot the cause? A. Safe mode. B. Debugging mode. C. Directory services restore mode. D. Disable automatic restart. The correct choice is A. Safe mode. Safe mode is an advanced startup mode in Windows 10 that loads a minimal set of drivers and services. By booting the laptop into safe mode, you can troubleshoot the cause of the crashes as it starts with only essential components. This can help identify if a third-party driver or software is causing the issue. Debugging mode is typically used by developers for software debugging purposes. Directory services. Restore mode is used for restoring active directory on domain controllers. Disabling automatic restart can prevent the laptop from automatically restarting after a crash, but it does not directly help troubleshoot the cause of the crashes. Question 8. You've been tasked with setting up a new computer for a budget-conscious client who requires an operating system that is available as a free download with no evaluation period limitations. Which of the following operating systems would be the most suitable choice for this scenario? A. Windows B. Ubuntu C. Mac OS D. iOS The correct choice is B, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a free and open source operating system based on Linux. It does not have any evaluation period limitations and can be downloaded and installed for free. While Windows and MacOS are popular operating systems, they are not available as free downloads for unlimited use. iOS is the operating system for Apple's mobile devices and is not suitable for a computer setup.
Question 9. You're assisting a colleague who is experiencing technical issues with their Windows PC. They need to copy important information about their computer for troubleshooting and possibly send it to you for assistance. Which section within Windows settings should you instruct them to access for this purpose? A. System about B. Network and Internet, Ethernet. C. Ease of access. Narrator. D. Privacy, Diagnostics and Feedback. The correct choice is A. System About. The About section under System in Windows settings provides important information about the computer, including details about the operating system, processor, installed RAM, device ID, product ID, and system type. This information can be very useful for troubleshooting technical issues. The other sections, Network and Internet, Ethernet, Ease of Access, Narrator and Privacy, Diagnostics and Feedback, contain different types of information that may not be as directly relevant for general troubleshooting purposes. Question 10. An information security audit requires a technician to provide evidence of OS patch levels on all desktops. Which tool can provide this information in Windows? A. Windows Update B. MSINFO32 C. DXDIAG D. Winver The correct choice is B, MSINFO32. MSINFO32 is a built-in Windows tool that provides detailed information about the system hardware, software, and configuration. It can be used to gather information about the operating system, including patch levels and installed updates. Windows Update, choice A, is the service that allows users to download and install updates from Microsoft, but it does not provide a comprehensive view of the patch levels on all desktops. DXDIAG, choice C, is a tool used to diagnose and troubleshoot DirectX-related issues, and it does not provide information about OS patch levels. Winver, choice D, is a command that displays the version of Windows running on a computer, but it does not provide information about patch levels. That wraps up part one of our operating systems practice questions. Let me know in the comments your score and what topics you want covered more. Make sure to also check out the next video in the series, where we will be covering practice questions for the security domain. And don't forget to subscribe for more A plus core two videos focusing on all the exam domains. See you next time.